Hi, I'm Dr. Henry T. Nicholas III, and you're watching Facets Television. Hi, I'm Sandra Hutchins. I'm the Sheriff Coroner of Orange County, and you're watching Facets Television. Hello, my name is Judge Jim Gray. I'm retired from the Orange County Superior Court, and you are watching Facets Television. I'm Gary Johnson. I'm the Libertarian presidential nominee for president in 2016, and you are watching Facets TV. Amazing. Good for you. Welcome back to Facets Television. I'm Kevin McDonald, and with us this evening, we have a couple of great guests. But first, I want to tell you about the Epic Invitational Golf Tournament. This is a golf tournament that's put on each year for the last three years to raise money for the Joyful Child Foundation. With us this evening is Erin Runyon. She is the founder and the operator of <laughs> the Joyful Child Foundation. She also happens to be the mother of Samantha Runyon, a young woman who was murdered some years ago. With us also is Dan Ryan. He is the managing principal with Epic Insurance out of Ontario, California, and thank you two for coming in to see us. So tell me a little bit about the Invitational, Dan, if you can. Sure. We, we started this uh, three years ago. We, we just completed our, our tournament in March, and uh, Epic Insurance is a, um, a brokerage that has national presence, and uh, we established uh, an Inland Empire office uh, about five years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, Epic and the in uh, Inland Empire office really believe in giving back to the community. So we wanted to come up with a cause for our, uh, our Inland Empire off office. And I am a resident of probably 40 years in the Inland Empire in the Riverside, San Bernardino County area. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, very, very aware of the Samantha Runyon uh, situation when that happened years ago. And so when the connection was made between uh, us and uh, with Aaron and the foundation, we just thought that was a natural way that we could give back to the mm -hmm. community. So we yeah. began sponsoring the tournament uh, three years ago. Uh, and again, I mentioned we just completed the final year, a very successful tournament this past March. Wow. So, um, Aaron, for those of you that don't know, if you can just give us a little bit of the background on the story of, of your little girl and of the foundation so that they understand yes. what we're talking about. Today. Sure. We started the Joyful Child Foundation within months um, after my daughter, Samantha, who was, um, was, she was abducted and murdered. So she was um, playing outside. It was 11 days before her sixth birthday, and a car pulled up. Um, she was out there with her best friend about 35 yards from our front door, and the man got out of his car, asked the girls if they would help him find his lost puppy, and then he rushed at Samantha and grabbed her. She kicked and screamed, um, but he threw her in the car and she was found the next day having been sexually assaulted and murdered. And um, it was, at the time, it's now been 15 years, um, but at the time it had national and even international news coverage, and so the outpouring of support from the community was huge. Um, and I got all of these letters that were sympathetic, but also kind of motivating in terms of um, how prevalent this issue is and how little is being done to stop it. Yeah. And so the more that I started to learn about crimes against children, the more determined I was that we needed a positive way to honor Samantha, and that was by focusing on the joy that every child deserves to have. So Therefore, we started the Joyful the Child. child. I love yes. it. Um, and I know it, it must be hard, but I, I have to say, the one thing I have to say about you is you're always so positive, you're always smiling, and, and to your own credit, it really is about the joy that she brought to your life, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So for those that don't know what the foundation does, can you give me a quick background on what you're doing now to make sure that we don't have more situations like Samantha's? Yes. Um, so our focus is on protecting the joy of every child. And what we do is we teach what we call the BRAVE programs. And we have parent education. Um, so we do a 90-minute e educational forum for parents on how to teach your children to be safe, but also that complements the workshops and the curriculum that we have for children. Um, and basically it's a self-assurance, self-advocacy program. We teach children that they're the only person who knows if somebody makes them uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So they need to tell somebody so that we yeah. can protect them. Sure. Um, and that's kind of at its 
basic level, that's the most important element of the BRAVE programs, is teaching children to trust that feeling, that they don't have to be able to explain why, yeah. but just if somebody gives them that funny feeling, or for some reason they feel afraid, yep. to it's tell okay a grown-up. It's okay to be afraid and speak out. Yeah. It's a really important thing, and I know yeah. that all the years I've been involved in, for full disclosure, I've known Aaron since actually I met Aaron, unfortunately, the, within that day or two of, of Samantha's abduction, and I have to say that the the idea of telling kids it's okay, it doesn't matter who it is in your family, who it is, law enforcement, it doesn't matter. If someone is doing something to you or mm -hmm. making you uncomfortable, speak up. Absolutely. Because it is the one thing that that child has in order to help have someone help defend them. So, um, Dan, tell me a little bit about the process and what it is that the Invitational is doing for the foundation. Well, what we've what we're trying to do, as I mentioned, we're trying to give back to to the local uh, community, and and one of the things we were hoping for and we're able to fulfill our, our desires with in talking with Aaron and and the foundation was uh, because the Inland Empire, like any other community, has their share of the the perpetrators out there, and and it was really important to, that we could see kids being trained and through the Brave program, but just mm -hmm. being trained in in general. As a result of the, the first two years, I, I don't have the exact number. Aaron could share that with us, but I, I know we've trained many, many kids and many, many parents. Yes. You know, in my city where I live, in Rancho Cucamonga, in other cities throughout the Inland Empire, so we've seen direct results of training. We've set in on the training sessions. We, we've seen the, the monies, the net monies that we raise through the golf tournaments go to this training, and we're seeing some real humongous successes. So that means a lot to us that we're yeah. able to fulfill our gift back mm -hmm. to the community through a, a great foundation. So that from Aaron your has. side, what's it done for you? Oh, it's been huge. You know, um, we're a small organization. It, for a long time, it was just me and me with two part-time staff. And we have a small team of volunteer instructors who do phenomenal work. And um, we were stuck, really, in Orange County um, and really trying to create the model here in Orange County. And because of Epic's generous support, we expanded into the Inland Empire. And now we have wonderful partnerships with the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department, um, as well as Paris and the city of Paris, Harupa Valley. And we're just expanding exponentially out there. Um, That's fantastic. Yeah. So, and for those that are watching, I mean, this is something you can do in your community. Absolutely. The, what, what the Joyful Child Foundation needs is funding to just put the programs on. Aaron's not getting rich doing this, trust me. And, <laughs> and it's not about that. It's about funding as many children as we can understanding this program. Yes. So if you choose to do this in your area and you want to do something like Dan and his group at Epic to step up and help, you certainly can do that. Um, so give me a little bit of a background on what the program looks like for the kids that are going to go through it. And for those of you that want to, we actually have a program that was filmed some time ago where we got to go watch this program. Yeah. So you can actually see it in action if you choose to click through those links in the future. But right. for those that aren't going to see that, give us a little quick background. On that. Well, the um, BRAVE curriculum has 10 lessons. And so with each lesson, the students learn about, well, they really think about what are the potential dangers in a given situation mm -hmm. and what might their BRAVE action plan be mm -hmm in a given scenario. And so they come up with their own action plan. Um, the part that the children love the most is that they also learn some self-defense skills. Yes. <laughs> so they practice role playing. They get to practice the verbal defense as well as physical defense skills. Mm. Um, yes, my favorite is torpedo eyes, you yes. know, because you know, no matter how big and strong somebody is, their eyes are just as sensitive as yours and mine, so is their nose. Yep. So those are great target areas if somebody's trying to actually take a child. Um, and that's really where this is coming from. You know, I, I believe that there are skills that we can give children to be confident enough um, to say something in those more interpersonal kind of yeah. predatory situations, which yeah. are most common, as well as the most extreme circumstances like my daughter's. And I want to back her up. I'm in a lifetime martial artist, and I can tell you there's only a couple of places. On, and, of course, men have their issues and then but but more <laughs> importantly this is actually easier to get to absolutely and if they're grabbed it's usually at a face level so right. um and if a perpetrator cannot see or they immediately go to defend their face then mm -hmm. much higher chance of getting away so right. i can totally support what you're saying on that yes um how does the pr program work? Does it train the trainer? Is it tr is it go to the, through the schools for those that don't understand? Right well our goal is to empower every child with safety education. So our real focus is on the BRAVE curriculum where we train teachers to deliver safety education as part of 
regular classroom health and, and life skills PE. Um, and so we've had some success with that. That is going to be our focus in the Inland Empire this year, thanks to EPIC, um, because their, their funding over the last three years has, we now have a great community partnership um, going and we're reaching out to the school districts yeah. and, ho and hope, hope to be announcing that next time. Your fundraising is well into the six figures, is it not? I'm going to share that. Mm -hmm. you know, I, if I, I would be remiss if I, if I didn't also comment. We have uh, at Epic, my branch, the branch I'm in in Ontario, has 25 employees. Epic as a whole has over 1,000 employees. So we're one small branch, but our, uh, the, our golf tournament has reached corporate level where, where the Epic Inland Empire Invitational has got the eye and ear of everybody in, within, the, uh, within the organization. And the 25 employees that we have in the Inland Empire, every single one of them participates in some way. It's the employees uh, of, of our office, of our particular branch that are out on the golf course the day of the tournament. It's, it's the employees that are helping in the planning stages and getting everything ready. Of course, a few people have to stay back at the, at the house and keep the lights on and, and the fires burning and everything else. But I would say probably 15 or so are out on the course. They allow me, not being a golfer, that I can handle the putting, the no, putting contest. Okay. So I'm not doing that. But uh, uh, I kid around because we have members of our committee that are always asking, what do we make, what do we make, what are we doing? And Aaron knows, Aaron knows that I'm always reluctant to really give it a number until... So we know our, our goal, uh, first year I think our goal was, was 20 and I think we made 25. Our second year our goal was, uh, was 30 and I think we made 33. And, and our goal, a, a high reaching goal for, uh, uh, for um, the, the recent tournament was we wanted to get in that 45 or $50,000 category. And, uh, and so I told Aaron what I wanted to have over, over a three year period of time is I wanted to be able to raise $100,000. Right. So in my little, hands here, I can tell you that the, the tally that we have thus far for this recent tournament is 53600 Oh my gosh! So, still <laughs> dotting our, our, wow. our I's and crossing our T's, That's but, but That's we hope amazing. to have a check for you, and we're excited because we've, wow. we've reached that $100,000 figure, plus probably about $25,000. So we are really, really, really Thank excited. Thank you And I'm so about much. to do something I never do. David, come over here. Yeah. So David McDeal, our executive <laughs> producer and my friend is also with Epic and um, this all started when Aaron came on our show some time ago Yeah, and David got tied up into the situation and thought oh, I got to do something so he took off on his own I have nothing to do with this other than the introduction <laughs> which I'm super happy about but um, David sits behind the counter every day and doesn't really get a chance to come out and say hello so I wanted to Recognize him as part of this, and thank, thank you. you and Absolutely. And I might oh, say, David is the guy that's pressuring me the day of the tournament. How much did we make? How much did we make? Yes, and we don't know, so I got Aaron to, to side with me and say, let's get a tally going, and we'll, we'll figure it out. But da David and, and one of the other producers in our office, Joe Katoon, are the co-chairman of this, and we help a little that's bit, but they, they're the brain trust yeah. of the whole thing. So, right. so we are really, really work. excited. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, David. So with that said, I um, wow. just want to have you really quickly if you could give the folks the way that they can reach the Joyful Child Foundation if they decide they want to help. Absolutely. You can reach us on Facebook. We are at the Joyful Child um, Foundation, and our website is www.thejoyfulchild.org. Um, you can also find us on, on um, Instagram and Pinterest, yes, and we're posting more. There, there we have a parent's guide to prevention on our website that is free that parents can download. We also have a bookmark with safety tips that parents can discuss with their children. Um, and we're, this year we're really focusing on getting more digital content available so that you don't have to physically make it to a brave parent meeting. Um, we want to we wanna empower every parent to better protect their children. Well, I, I mean, I'm super happy that you are having such great success thank with this you. and what you do is amazing stuff and thanks for sharing with us today absolutely thank you. thank you you've been watching facets television we've been talking about the epic invitational in the inland empire and joyful child foundation we hope you come back
Hi, I'm Dan Ryan, and I'm the managing principal of Epic Insurance Brokers in the Inland Empire office, and you are watching Epic's Television. Epic's Television. Epic's Television. <laughs> That's even better. No, no, dude, I love it. Now. There we go. Oh, no, no, that's a keeper right there, man. That's like, you know what? We'll use that for your future videos. Oh, Jesus. We, 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 we've been brought out, did we get that? Hey, wait, do I get a sponsorship wait, wait. check for that one? What is it?